Welcome to the Cabral Concept, where board certified doctor of naturopathy, Dr. Stephen Cabral, shares with you exactly how you can reverse aging, take back your health, and live a life full of energy and passion with new 20 minute episodes every single day to keep you healthy and engaged. Now, here's your host, Dr. Stephen Cabral. Welcome back, everyone. Excited to get into our Friday Review, one of my favorite shows of the week. I'd love to be able to bring you at least one or two different research studies. It could be on nutrition, could be on supplementation, might be on exercise, might be on big medical breakthroughs, anything that that I actually think will be usable in your life or a loved one's life as well. I also love to be able to bring you, whether it's a product review, a book review, today I've got a brand new app for anybody looking to improve their overall all cardiovascular fitness and it's a fun app to be able to use so I can't wait to share that with you I'm personally using it myself so I wanted to bring that to you usually I'll always bring you a separate book review today I've got some pretty disturbing news that I want to share with you that just came out through the Washington Post so I want to share that and then we'll do a little recap to start the show so let's dive right in first and foremost Right now, our live event is happening this week in sunny Florida. We're hosting, well, it's summer around 300 plus attendees will be there in Florida, all like-minded health-based enthusiasts, many of them practitioners, many people looking to improve their overall wellness or body transformation or anti-aging based protocol. So we have some of the best uh, exhibitors there as well. We're going to be doing um, two different types of infrared sauna. We've got two different types of PMF mats. We have red light therapy. We've got cold plunges. Uh, We have vibrational acoustic based beds. We've got HRV based monitors. We've got HRV stimulators, like all these phenomenal uh, exhibitors, as well as 16 different health based talks. So super excited about that. Um, It's obviously sold out by now, but you can find out more about it and future events in the future at thereimagininghealthsummit.com. Feel free to check that out. I'll be giving a couple presentations um, on both days. And it's just super exciting because, first of all, we get to bring in some amazing speakers. We get to bring in 20 different exhibitors. We have hundreds of people from all over the world gathered in one space. And I get to meet. I get to chat with people. And for me, I love that because you have to keep in mind, I'm coming from a wellness-based practice where I saw people in person on a daily basis. And now that we live in more of a virtual-based world, I didn't get to see my team on a a daily basis. My team's all over the world as well. And uh, it's nice to be able to connect with them too. So, yeah. It's just a great time. I know that not everybody loves to travel. Not everybody loves to do all these different things. But uh, I'm telling you, if you get the chance to go to a live health-based event, absolutely do it. You meet amazing people. You get to get your questions answered. It's just, it's absolutely fantastic. So super excited about that. Uh, I'm sure we'll be doing it again next year. So you can always stay tuned. I'll give you brand new updates on the podcast. But even if you just sign up for the newsletter at stephencabral.com, you'll get a once a week email with all sorts of helpful tips as well. All right, and also uh, wanted to share with you that this week is Equalife's anniversary base special promotion. So just five years ago, that's the crazy thing is that, you know, we have hundreds of people from all over the world, 20 different exhibitors, 16 different speakers, all within just five years. So this is literally all happened within five years. So the podcast, a um, little bit longer, older than that. And that grew just from a couple thousand downloads a month to now millions of downloads a month. And it's obviously all thanks to you. But I, I love being able to, whenever possible, share what it is that we did uh, in an offline practice in Boston, Massachusetts since about uh, 2000 that led to where we are here today. And that's simply trying to be of service. At first, it was me trying to figure out how do I get healthy? How do I heal? How do I heal from autoimmune-based issues, from type 2 diabetes, from Addison's disease, from mast cell activation syndrome, from insomnia, from allergies, from all these different things. And then Okay, I found my answers. It took a while. How can I make this shorter for other people? How can we offer these services? And that's what we did in Boston. And then we had a six month wait list. We had, you know, we would see, as I've said before, 20,000 plus appointments a year. And then I wanted to teach that for free online. And that's what I've done since that point. And then people wanted to get access to the at home labs and they want to get access to the protocols and the nutritional supplement formulas. And so, that's what we did. And that's what Equal Life is. It's a true integrative health practice, now just virtual. So, 
people in 27 countries around the world can get access to this, the same things I wish I had, right? So that's going on right now. Head on over to stephencabral.com slash shop for our Equal Life Anniversary Week. Take an extra 10% off just our gift, our thanks to you off everyday low prices. I mean, they honestly are. We get you the best prices for the best products in the industry, and um, you'll see that going on right now, plus free shipping in the US. All right, so that's stephencabral.com slash shop. If you weren't able to check out the podcast last week, the whole Cabral concept, we missed you. But on episode 2803, we went over the future cost of your current decisions. I love this show. It's not, it's, it's one of those shows that I like to say it's it's tough love and I need tough love as, as much as anybody. Like that's the truth. But you don't always want to be told by people. I don't at least. I tell my team this all the time. I said, I might be running the company, but I don't want people to just say, yes, okay, let's do that all the time. It's not what I'm looking for because I only know what I know. And I hire brilliant people because I want I want their education. I want their knowledge. Tell me what I'm missing. What are my blind spots? What am I not seeing? How can we improve? How can we get better for our community? It's what I'm always asking. And and you can be anyone in the company at any level. And you know, we have a Slack communication. You can Slack me. Like that's the truth. And so that's what Monday's show is about. Not from a business perspective, but like, what are you doing now that you don't even know that you're doing, or you might be foregoing and putting off? That's going to cost you in the future. Now, without getting overly worried about that and overwhelmed, what could you be asking now in order to figure those things out to then begin to implement in your schedule? So check that out. Powerful show, episode 2803. 2804 was the seven biggest factors for stopping depression. New study, really powerful study, and it even gives you the top one to do as well. 2805 is what happens when you overdo protein intake. I don't want to, I don't want to be the person who's known as I don't recommend protein because I do. Like I'm not, and I'm not on a low protein diet by any me, any means at all. So I'm not saying you should be on a low protein diet. The problem is whatever I see going on in popular media, I just have to share with you the other side of it because it's not all like oh the more protein the better. That's it's it is actually unhealthy over time. So how do you find the right amount for you? And so I have a bunch of shows on this. And again, I'm not here to just try to be controversial. That's not it. But there are two sides and and you have to be careful. So I like to give you both sides so that you can find out bio-individuality, which means exactly what's right for you. And then yesterday's show was how short bursts of exercise decreases all-cause mortality by 40%. And we're not talking about a lot of time. We're talking about three to four minutes a day. Like that's how ridiculous it is. It's it's actually, when I read the study, I said, this is insane. Um, how can this be? Really good study though, really well done. And so instead of making it a Friday review research, I actually wanted to make a whole show around it uh, because it's it's that worthwhile. It really is. All these shows can be found at stephencabral.com slash podcasts. All right, let's get into our, um, instead of our, well, our product review of the week is actually an app. So it's called the 5K Runner app, all right? So no affiliation with the company, but I did pay for it myself. I literally purchased it and it is free. So you can get a free version of it and then you can do a lifetime version of it. And I think like they sent me a code after a day or two of downloading it and it was for like $17 for lifetime access. I don't know what the price is now because I'm not sure when you're listening to the show, but I will tell you, um, I'll tell you why I first did it. So first of all, I don't, I don't think that I'm the only one who feels this way. I like lifting weights. I like going to the gym. I don't love running. I'm just going to be honest with you. I don't love running. I ran in high school. I like the competitive aspect of it. I like the team aspect of it. But I never got that like runner's high. I never got that feeling you get from like going for a great run. It's just not that. However, the more research I do on longevity, the more important I see zone two cardio, which is that boring steady state cardio that can't be made up for by doing sprints or weight training or hit training. Those are great too, but zone two cardio is one of the most important things that you can do to improve telomere length to lower biological age, uh, to improve overall or decrease all-cause mortality and improve overall health span and lifespan. You really need to do it. Like that's the truth. That's the bottom line. Three to five days a week, 30 minutes minimum each time. So 
I just set a goal for myself. My brother-in-law actually uh, is running too. We went for a run together up in Maine and, and we had a good run. It was, you know, just a, not a big deal. It was like a two to three mile run. And what we both realized, especially for me, is that I just don't run fast anymore. I just don't. Like my mile pace is not great. And that's because I've gone in and out of running for so long. I like go for it and then I stop and then I go for it and then I stop. And you know, I'm, I'm many years removed from high school. And so when I look at this, I said, okay, I can run three miles, but it's not fast. So what I said was I'm going to train for speed now for this. So I downloaded this app, the 5K um, runner, and you start off the first week and second week by only running for basically a minute at a time, and then eventually a minute and a half, and then two minutes. And so what you can do is for that minute, I'm now trying to pace myself at a faster pace. And what eventually happens is you keep the faster pace going. So it's run, walk, run, walk, and then you start to collapse the walk part. So now you're running longer and walking less. And if you can, you maintain that faster speed. So that's what I'm doing. So I'm going from slower miles to now faster runs and then shorter walks and then eventually collapse it so that all of my run speed, I took a couple minutes off my actual mile pace for three miles. So a 5K, if you run a 5K, it's great as a goal to set, sign up for a 5K. It's 3.1 miles. You can even run, walk it if you want, but if you give yourself 12 weeks to train, you can absolutely run a 5K without a doubt. And if you use this app, um, you can do it at even a faster pace. So check it out. I will certainly link it up. I have an iPhone, so it's it's for sure uh, for iPhone. They may have it for Android as well. I'll link it up, but it's, it's a nice way to, it motivates you through it too, because you hear a little ding. You can play your music in the background. You can play a podcast in the background, which is what I do. And um, if you really want to geek out, which is also what I do, I have, um, you can use your Apple watch. You can use a Garmin watch like I have, and you can actually look at your mile pace. And that's how I know what I'm pacing at in order to, for that speed, in order to keep that speed going. So that's that. I could talk about that all day. That is how much I love all of these different gadgets and ways to motivate yourself, but everybody needs to be motivated in some way. So this is my way. Um, three times a week I'm doing this and I'm trying to just increase my speed overall. All right, instead of a book review this week, I had to share this with you. I know it's been shared a few times on social media, but that doesn't make it any less um, wild. And that's the truth. It's the only thing I can say. And, and here it is. I'm just going to read it to you just verbatim. An investigation of thousands of social media posts found that companies and industry groups paid doctors and dietitians for content that encouraged viewers to eat candy and ice cream, as well as downplay the health risks of highly processed foods like soda and even things like aspartame. So after an investigation, the Washington Post found that companies and industry groups paid dietitians and some doctors to produce messages that run counter to decades of scientific evidence about healthy eating. A group of 68 dietitians with at least 10,000 followers on social media were examined and about half had, been, had promoted foods, drinks, or supplements in the past year to their followers that were not the healthiest. One of the major companies examined by the Washington Post was safety of aspartame, referring to the World Health Organization's guidance about the artificial sweetener being possibly carcinogenic. That means possibly causing cancer. A number of TikTok and Instagram creators downplayed the possible health hazards of aspartame, but did not disclose payments from the American Beverage Association. That's like Coke and Pepsi and all those companies. A lobbying group that represents major companies like Coke and Pepsi. Okay, last part. This report found that at 35 posts, at least 35 posts, from 12 health professionals paid by American Beverage. So that means this big lobby group paid at least a dozen people. It included 10 dietitians, one doctor, one fitness influencer, who were paid to soften the message about aspartame's potential health risks. 17 of them didn't disclose the partnership. Uh, 17 out of the 35 posts did not disclose the partnership, while two others placed the information far within the descriptions where you'd have to search far and hard to find them. Pretty, pretty unbelievable. Like, I, I mean, I understand people get paid by companies all the time. I don't have an issue with that. Like, if it's a great product and you like it, no problem. But if you're a health professional, you need to hold yourself to a higher level and a higher standard. If you're a dietitian or a doctor, you can't be promoting eating candy and ice cream. That's, that's outrageous. And there, by the way, there's nothing wrong with having an ice cream every once in a while. 
We're not saying that. Like, I'm not saying that either. Enjoying ice cream every once in a while. Don't have a problem with that. Every day or downplaying its effects. At no point should ever anyone ever say ice cream is healthy for you. Like, I mean, like, hopefully we never get to that point, right? But we already know that most of what's put out there is bought and paid for. We already know that when when the My Food Pyramid uh, Committee got together, they said there should be no alcohol allowed on this for health at all. Because it's been shown now more than two drinks a week for women and more than three a week for men increases all cars mortality and cancer. But yet it was still put on there because of lobbyists, right? Um, why are we still including cow's milk on the food pyramid with meals? Like it just makes no sense. And yet that's obviously paid for by the milk industry. So be very careful is all I'm saying. Be very careful of what you're reading and following on social media. Uh, and that includes everything. Like just be just be a little bit leery of what it is that you see. Okay. So just wanted to put that out there. All right. I want to bring you to better research studies, meaning like well done. And these are going back to what I call our foundational nutritional supplements. So these are basically products that essentially every human being, 99 out of 100, can do really well with. And you can go with any company in the world that you want. Just want to state that up front. I'm just going to read you the research. Okay. So this, uh, let's see. I can get you the links. Here's what I'll do. I'm going to put the links for the research at stephencabral.com slash 2807. And that includes the Washington Post exposure of these dietitians and the American beverage lobbyists. Okay. So after participating in strength exercise, it's normal to see the muscle changes, including muscle soreness, damage, inflammation, and oxidative stress that comes from a strength training workout. When muscles are repeatedly used in workouts, they adapt to the amount of stress and the damage by increasing in um, sometimes size uh, and in, in strength. So there can be interventions that are used though that include like cold therapy or cryo or maybe even antioxidants, not directly after the workout, but within a few hours after uh, or even the next day. But what they studied was what would just simply taking a low dose omega-3 uh, fatty acid, like how would that help a fish oil, EPA and DHA? Would that improve mar cardiovascular markers, would improve inflammation markers, uh, and would it help with muscle recovery? So the study looked at fish oil supplementation on muscle injury and recovery during only a six-week strength training program. So like that's pretty fast for results. So the participants were men uh, 20 to 30 years old. They had not participated in an exercise program over the past year. They were randomly assigned to a control group or an intervention group. The intervention group got only a gram and a half of fish oil a day. So not too much, but higher EPA than DHA. That's what I'm always trying to teach people. And they split that over the course of the day, their, their fish oil. And so they did three days a week of strength training. And let's see, they did alternating weeks of hypertrophy, strength, and resistance training. Okay. Um, kind of odd because hypertrophy and resistance training are basically can be one of the same strength training would oftentimes be a little bit lower rep than higher rep, but you can get hypertrophy either way. But anyway, I digress. So the results showed that fish oil supplementation group has significantly reduced bouts of CK and LDH at the post training assessment. So basically these are markers like lact lactase dehydrogenase of muscle tissue breakdown and inflammation. And so they found that there was less damage with the fish oil group compared to the control. Similar results were found in the plasma IL-6, that stands for interleukin-6, that's an inflammatory marker, and CRP. CRP stands for C-reactive protein. Both of those are markers for inflammation. The results showed significant improvement in glutathione in the fish oil supplemented group. That was the part that was super interesting to me because I did not expect that. Because glutathione is, is basically the master antioxidant that can be produced by the liver from things like N-acetylcysteine or uh, sulfur-based amino acids. So that was impressive to see that fish oil was actually boosting glutathione, at least in an exercise-based group. So pretty, pretty impressive. Um, I thought that was fantastic research because there are still people out there who do not believe in omega-3 supplementation. And I get it, you should not use oxidized fish oil. You should not use fish oil that you buy in a big jug or jar at Costco or these places that are oxidized. 
But if you get a good quality functional medicine company, I mean, the, the benefits just continue to go on and on. And now in this case, exercise. All right, second study. This was done on adults ages 60 to 84 years old. They were given 60,000 IUs of vitamin D3 uh, or a placebo per month. And the study was done for five years. So this is not a small study and the adults were older and the intervention only became when they were older. The main outcome was to measure whether there was a decrease, decrease in major cardiovascular events defined as a myocardial infarction, a stroke, or need for revascularization procedure. Okay, let me help make sense of that because again, it's it's um, medical speak. So, um, what we're looking at? Oh, and this was uh, over ten thousand uh, participants in this study. So they basically got two thousand IUs a day. That's the minimum we recommend for adults in our functional medicine practice. Okay, especially if you've never tested your vitamin D levels, and I can get you a test today that we offer essentially for free. You literally just pay for shipping of vitamin D. Uh, obviously, that's optional. If I can't link up nutritional supplements, but I can link up labs. So if you go to stephencabral.com slash 2807, you can measure your own vitamin D levels. But 2,000 I use, which is 50 micrograms a day, uh, that's the minimum that we've seen to be effective. So this is just a minimum dosage. Here were the results, though. This is pretty impressive. Although the vitamin D group experienced fewer cardiovascular disease events, this was not statistically significant. However, when broken down by condition, the risk of a mild uh, myocardial infarction, that's a heart attack, so that's an MI, in the vitamin D group was 19% lower than the placebo group, while the risk for needing a revascularization procedure, basically open heart surgery, not, not to the same degree um, as basically putting stents in, was 11% lower in the vitamin D group, and there was no difference in the stroke group. And the reason why I brought this study up is that it's like the minimal amount of vitamin D. We recommend four to 5,000 IUs per day for most adults that are not getting or maintaining a tan year round. So for getting 50% lower dosage than we typically recommend, they were still able to have 19% lower incidence of heart attacks and 11% lower risk of having to have surgery for revascularization. So pretty impressive for literally using one of the least expensive nutritional supplements out there. So just wanted to share that with you. I think these studies are phenomenal because they take seconds a day and like a dollar um, to invest in these things and they can help you improve your overall health and lifespan. So I'll link up all the research. These are all PubMed studies and you'll find that at stephencabral.com slash 2807. I appreciate the listens, downloads, subscribes, and shares as always. And tomorrow I'll be back with our Cabral house calls answering our community's questions. Take care, everybody. Before you go, I wanted to share a personal story with you. The real reason I began to get well finally is because I figured out what was wrong with me. And that might seem pretty obvious, but I went from doctor to doctor for over two years before discovering at-home functional medicine lab testing. These are the labs that enabled me to finally figure out what was wrong with my hormones, blood sugar, electrolytes, and gut health. And once I knew what was wrong, I could then follow a proven plan in order to rebalance my body from the inside out. This is why I believe so strongly in functional medicine lab testing and why I've made it my mission to share these labs with the world. Now at equa.life, you can order an at-home lab test or a lab bundle for you and your family and be able to complete it within the week. Plus, the Equal Life difference is that you're not left to try to read and figure out these labs on your own. We explain what your lab numbers mean, what they mean in the much bigger picture, and then how to go about rebalancing your body in order to heal. To see our full selection of lab tests or to set up a free lab selection call to find out what labs may be best for you, simply head on over to equa.life forward slash labs. And do remember, we ship these all over the world. To find out more and to set up your free lab selection call, simply head on over to equa.life forward slash labs. That's E-Q-U-I dot L-I-F-E forward slash labs.